your IMEI number is not showing in Samsung A14. Reason one is you flashed custom firmware and so you will just need to flash the original software back. Reason two is there is a hardware problem in the phone but we can try and fix this ourselves. So one of our cables is unplugged, okay? So we're first gonna turn off the phone. So long press power and release and then tap power off twice. So we're gonna try and reconnect the cable that's unplugged. Typically it's the SIM card slot. So what we need to do first, I'm just gonna move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Lay your phone down and we're just gonna press really hard with two fingers, maximum force or four, just push all the way down on the back of the screen. I'm gonna do like this with my thumbs and we just wanna repeat this procedure, pressing as hard as you can all the way across the back of the screen. Okay, do the full back. I'm going to not do that for the sake of the video. Repeat this procedure with the front. All right, let's repeat with the front. Then we can get two fingers and I'm gonna use one hand to stabilize. Tap as hard as you can across the back of the screen. You won't damage the phone. Okay, so just keep on doing this. Maximum force. All right, do the entire back. And we'll do the exact same for the entire front. Again, you will not damage this phone. Add as much force as you can. It's starting to hurt my hands a little bit. Take a break if that is the case. So we'll do like that. Then we're gonna get two thumbs. And we're just gonna push them as hard as we can to the center of the screen. Okay, add maximum force when we are doing this. We're trying to get that cable to plug back in. Okay, so just keep on doing this, just like that. And then repeat the same with the front. I'm just gonna not do full front for the sake of time. <laughs> you must have had your phone off. If you forgot to do this, you may have fried something. But if the phone is off, we'll try and turn it back on and we'll see if that solves the problem. If it doesn't, we wanna go into the general management option of settings. Then we will select reset. And so back up your phone before you do this. We just wanna do a factory data reset so it will reinstall the operating system or we can wait for a software update as that will reinstall the OS too, but we won't lose data. If still not working, you will have to book your phone into repair. Friends, this is a motherboard problem. Okay, we can try and fix it by tapping in the hardware in place, but if it doesn't work, get a professional on the case.